all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back updates and information as you kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper as it is hot it don't show uh, according to the information where we say it there for my table right now if you say the men of the biafra liberation army and the men of the nig boys don't clash together <laughs> uh, they say no be small auto auto where we say happened there and as the information they be uh, plenty of people lost their life for that matter where we say they see they say that they buy some people from the side of the biafra army they buy uh, from the side of the NIG and Equa, they buy. But as the matter be, they say the NIG, them boys, retreated and they turn and run away. Before I will bring you the full detail of that information and waiting happened there, uh, make a carry you go for waiting they happen for Zamfara because this country uh, will be said they call Niger. It be like say it don't they turn upside down. My hand no deal. They say former minister of Nigerian Air Force officer supply military uniform arms to terrorists in Zamfara State. <laughs> uh, you know, say you get this talk where they talk. They say a tree, uh, a river cannot pass through the forest without bringing down the trees. Let's go to the full detail of the information because now the rats where we say they for house. Now you go tell the one where you day for road. Say meat day for the oven. The Nigerian Police Force High Command on Tuesday reviewed how its operatives arrested a dismissed officer of the Nigerian Air Force who has been supplying military camouflage and other accoutrements that belong to the security operatives to bandit terrorizing Zamfara State. The police explained that the former NAF personnel Ahmed Mohamed attached to the Air Force Base Kaduna State only served in the Air Force for just five years before he was cosmetered by the military for a yet-to-be-reviewed offense. The spokesman of the Nigerian police, Muiwa Adejobi, an assistant commissioner of police, also disclosed that the dismissed personnel introduced cells of military camouflage and other accoutrements to Mushiri Abubakar, who had supplied different camps of criminal gangs. Adejobi said, the duo had in the past supplied military camouflage to the notorious bandit Belo Toji and his gang members who have been terrorizing the state. Parading the suspect at the headquarters of Special Tactical Squad Intelligence Response Team in Abuja, the police spokesperson listed items recovered from both Mohammed and Abubakar as 10 sets of military camouflage uniform and 10 pieces of camel pack. Other items recovered include two military hats three cardigans, three t-shirts, three belts, three anklets, adding that they were intercepted when they were transporting the item from Kaduna to Zamfara for bandits. The senior police officer on 20, zero, 20, 12, 2023, at about 120 hours, the operatives of the field SE intercepted the movement of military Accoutrement from Kaduna to Zamfara State, precisely Shinkafe. In the process, a spot search was conducted and the following items were recovered. 10 sets of military camouflage uniform, 10 pieces of camel pack, 12 military hats, 3 cardigans, 3 t-shirts, 2 belts and 3 anklets. Two suspects were arrested. The Mashiri Abubakar is a childhood friend of one Air Force personnel attached to the Air Force base in Kaduna State who served for only five years before being court martialed and introduced the idea of selling military accoutrement to Mushri Abubakar. Further investigations revealed that same Mushri Abubakar had supplied military materials to the notorious Belo Tuji. <laughs>
they kill the senators oddly now for emo state where governor hope was on danger now they were in day they say it was gathered that the government stormed the senator's residence during the early hours of monday february 12. the senator representing imono senatorial district or kigwe zone senator patrick ndubweze has escaped assassination the nation reported that the attack claimed the life of one of his orderlies. The report revealed that gunmen stormed the senator's residence during the early hours of Monday, February 12, to kill him. While the senator managed to escape unharmed, one of the policemen assigned to him was fatally shot. He said the news of the senator Patrick Mwabweze being attacked is true. They stormed his residence at Omwalu Moke and killed a policeman working for him. Remember that now for this same Omwalumoke, uh, now where uh, some people, some armed men go for inside the prison, they go there, go free some prisoners, will be say then they there. For that same Imo state again, gunmen don't go for house of one Ilo Imo lawyer like that. Now there they take by the man who, they send the man to judgment. Now so the man take uh, run away now the same emo state again seven inmates freed inspector killed in another prison break in the southeast mm -hmm. bang 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 the prison break where we say they watch for the movie it don't they happen between you and me i o hmm. this one they happen for emo state life 